Hi, Daniel. Nice to see you this evening. Um, just want to go over a few points that we discussed during today's session. Um, first off, I've just popped up a couple of lines here. The first one here is the one just on the forehead um, in your setup position, uh, just to highlight the, the movement that you've got during that back swing. So as we start you on your your back swing now, you can see as your head moves away from that red line. Okay, as you're moving away from that red line, um, it makes you swing the club um, on a on a slightly flatter plane. You can see the angle um, there of your shoulders is on a quite a shallow um, plane. Your hands there are a little bit too much behind you. Um, and also, as a result of that, the plane or the angle of your club is it once again a little bit too shallow. So as you take it to the top of your back swing there. Um, so now you've got um, a little bit of work to do. One, to get back down to the golf ball and hit it properly. Um, as you do start this downswing, you say you do start it with your upper body and you're now moving closer back to that line to get back down to that golf ball. Again, as we approach the impact area, you can see here, because of the flatter shoulder plane that you've had during the backswing, um, your shoulders have really sort of spun out of the shot, and as you come into the impact, you can see that your shoulders are a little bit open now to your target. And as a result of that, once you get to impact and just through impact, your club is going to work quite quickly to that left-hand side, and with a good rotation of your forearm, you're just going to drag that ball left of your target. You can see there the, the ball's working left of your target. If you do slightly under rotate, leave the club face slightly open to your swing pass, you're going to get those faded shots that you've been you've been experiencing quite a bit. And also, as it comes through again, because of the shallow swing plane and the shallow shoulders, you can see as your club on the follow through is once again a little bit too shallow as your hands are working on the inside on that flatter plane. We have a, a quick look here at Luke Donald. Um, on the right hand side you can see um, he's actually moved a little bit forwards of that line um, during his back swing. You can see that his shoulders are on a, a slightly steeper plane and his hands are much higher than what yours were. Um, during the backswing much higher over his right shoulder. As a result of him getting his hands slightly higher, his shaft or the angle of the shaft of his club is a much deeper plane than yourself. So as he's coming into that golf ball now, he's able to work that club much more from the inside. Come down nicely into that golf ball. And you can see as he's approached the impact area, you can see as his shoulders are still were to his target, allowing him to rotate the club and swing that club much more or a longer period down his target before it starts to come back on the inside. And again, during that follow-through position, because his swing plane is much steeper than yourself, um, his shaft or the plane of his shaft, once again, is a little bit steeper than yours. Um, so that's going to create or allow him to hit consistently balls down his target line. Whereas yourself, you're having to, um, if you rotate, if you have good rotation because your club's working too much to the left hand side um, at impact or just after impact, then you're going to get those pull shots. If the rotation or you slightly under rotate your forearms, um, leave your club face to the squirty target with that ball, with that club working to the left you're going to put that fade spin on the shot. So we gave you a couple of drills to work on. Uh, the first one was to really try and get your hands a little bit higher um, during that back swing and get your uh, the plane of your club a little bit steeper on the way back. And then you can loop the club or drop the club slightly on the inside on the way down. And then we add a little basket just on the inside there of your swing path. Um, just for your club to swing around. Um, again, holding that um, holding.
holding the club or swinging the club more down your target line just for that split second longer so when you rotate the club nicely like you do the ball goes straighter down that target line also as a result of the shots when we had the basket there at impact your shoulders was much squarer to the target once again allowing that club to move uh, for a slightly longer period down that target line uh, so if you keep working on those drills uh, if you've got any problems um, just give me a call or nip up to the driving range and, uh, and see me I'll be there most afternoons um, but I'm good luck with it all and I look forward to seeing you again soon